We're cool with it though. Um, I'm sorry for the phone call, Tony. Cause I heard some rock thing here, so I just went to start off with a swing. And then we ended up strong after she did with that. And I wanted to bite off of you. So yeah, this is called Tony. Take your clothes off by the bathroom. Your silhouette can kiss a thousand moons. Love is hard fast when the flower blooms. Then our relationship will feel like June. Tony sex got me arrested. It's like the only thing that I could think that I've been blessed with. It's like I want to wear it around my neck like it's a necklace. And maybe I obsess about it so much I'm obsessing. Can you feel me? Or in my vision? And if I am, can you reach out and touch or is it prison? Can I break out the bars of your body when it's missing? Or are you still holding on to all that anger and resentment? Can you fucking listen for a second? Or even for a moment? I'd rather be a teammate than opponent. I'd rather know that, that you I, I'd rather know that you will be my compass if I'm going to a place where trust is desolate and love is like an omen. Mm. Is your heart slowing down? I hope not. I hope it beats for me. No need to have a beef for me because people like me secretly. Wait until you walk away to speak to me. I'm knowing it's love because we share jealousy equally. You curse each other out, now you ain't speaking about a week to me. Why you stay out the cell and hope your heart is where you're keeping me? I hope you never plan to fall in love in life, at least for me. Still hoping that if all of this don't make sense, you'll at least agree. Let's fuck until the morning. Let's make it right before we start to yawn and got a blunt for like a sour when we zone. My love is my atonement. I'd rather you not need it, but you want it. And my pain feel like it's pressure, don't it? And if you want me, I stay. So you really gotta say and really gotta ask. And everybody got a future, you got a past. So many times you don't want to last. How many times you think you're gonna ask? I think my number's fast. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. So this is a new party poem yeah, called Maybe. Um, I'm trying to think. I can't, I'm going to do, do four because this is a three-part poem and I'm going to do a lot short. All right, so. Maybe love is undefined by one's own perception. People have a need for protection. See, women have a need for protection. People have a need for protection, yet that's what we are neglected. When that's who should hand without affection. What's new? Just a simple little statement like I trust you could get manipulated by a fuck you, I love you. Um, that's probably lost in translation. Everybody got a bigger dream they all chasing. Everybody got realities they ain't facing yet. A two-sided mirror still only show the side and stay in. I'm staying in. How many of y'all are only playing? With somebody's heart like it's Play-Doh or it's Clayton. Never wanted part of a serious relationship yet. Your two miserable bones be alone with the dating. You need company. Wow. You drive them up a wall because your mind is never rested. Maybe they'll just pay for all the feelings you got fessing. You can pay for Paul and that's probably where you missed it. You got this nigga love that twisted. But maybe, just maybe. Love is all the fine but one's perception. And that's the reason hand without affection. Maybe that's the part we ain't getting, just the only other lesson. The most valuable things we neglected. She loves me not. Don't really know when the love we stop. Thinking now maybe it was all some ugly plot. On a Saturday she met me in my rugby top. When my car goes on, well I must be hot, maybe not. The second time I gave my number, cause the first she forgot, a blackberry and her girlfriend shot back got. Maybe that's expected. Well I was waiting on the call that never manifested. So I can run into our face to face, clear the record. We agree to start right, fuck all the other left shit. We say we're leaving out the fate, keep only the best shit. Yes, she found a thousand things to go at my neck with. The shit got reckless, I prayed for us to salvage pieces. That was left in her heart, that hurt she went to sleep with. Almost felt like a part of me, I started to beast it. Cause for love alone, she was like the only reason. And I ain't teasing, I swear. I really wanted her to know that I cared. But my mind couldn't say it. There was something I feared, something weird. Maybe it was just a vibe in the air, but when the time came, that ass was there. So maybe just maybe. Love is all the final one's perception. And that's the wish your hand got affection. Maybe that's the part we ain't getting, just the only hear the lesson. The most valuable things we neglect, and I'm guessing that I'll be wrong if I love the Smith and Wesson. Blow the brains out of all your questions. Your muscles ain't flexing. I think there seem to be some things that you forgetting, like who raised you from your dead, your resurrection? And I was your lifeboat. I felt as if you needed a life coach, because we never know how funny life go. I might show. Do I get hype? No. Always got the right flow. Just wanted you to cover my ass. No, that go. Ooh. 
So you put light bulbs to every situation. Every time I think you blowing up, you bring along deflation. This empty room got on one kind of pacing. I wonder if anybody's sacred. I hate this feeling, it's a hard pill. Cause every time we speak, I'm pulling on your car still. But we can't help who the hearts ain't want to feel. So we pack up our overnight bag and go and chill. You get a drone still. And I can feel it in my bones still. I daydream out of your bones still. I'm in the zone still. These are the feelings that I wish a sister don't feel. Cause at the end of it, I find myself alone still. So maybe. Woo! Focus took it. Um, focus had it first, and I took it from All him. right, exactly. Well, Join me. Facts. But I don't know if I have a lot of professor, but he put nines on. So this is just me behind what we're yes. doing. You understand right. what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so we came together, and we really just said we just going to rise from the ashes. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I wrote this poem when I was in solitary confinement. Um, yeah, I was in there for about eight months or so. How can I put past these tragic laws of living in a state of mind? They locked me in this box to change my frame of mind. With the sun deep, my very reflection. Beaming through barred windows in this place of correction. My mind travels to times that once existed when my life was all simplistic, living with moms and tenants who's for talented and gifted. Instead, I used to stop smoking on concrete floors, rice crops daily, then slip letters under concrete doors. My petite friend devours no food. Too many worries plus my appetite diminished when my sanity was buried. And my memory recall days when Rama was a hobby. Ten of us get in the circle in the school lobby. And yet I'm here just three hots in the cot. A steel sink in the shitter. A roll of tissue, writing paper, a mirror. During times like this, I look at myself and see my struggles. When my girl asks why I cry and asks me why I hustle, it's necessities of living some us. Who would inject but in this place when correct? It's so hard to adjust, I cope. My only source of hope is filled with despair. Is this the outcome of me wrong for years? Is there a God? Is there some significance that somebody cares? My heart's at its worst. We're singled out like musical chairs. And nights I go to sleep and dream of escape. And when I wake and see I'm still here, I feel with institutional hate. And now I see why some lies demand that why folks die because of previous times. Their minds have been branded, and forced to deal with poison and suffering cancer. Hoping God will take away the pain so they can never suffer again. My thoughts take me to house parties and young adventures. Chilling with niggas that will break in the coldest winters. It's adaptation that is best for us here. We adapt to living in the streets and make the streets a happy career. I never knew my life had changed in a glimpse while the earth spins on its axis. The fact is, I was never convinced, led to believe that I was one in the mill. Beliefs are shattered, I'm just one of them in jail. My existence is bad. From high school to penitentiary, that's life's awful. I had to take it as a gift from one of my daughters. All I seen was beat walkers and thieves, street walkers and thieves, murderers who get a kick and make the families grieve. Yet I shed no tears in my sleepers. Pray, ah, just pray for the day this day something and issue my lead, please. I'm calling on ears to comprehend the meaning of pain. When the emotions start clogging your brain, I read books so it can take me distant. And when I'm back, I cry to myself. At times I feel nobody's listening. I thank God he had to birth my seeds, learning the process of obtaining wisdom. So I won't deserve their needs. At ease. Woo! Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, shout out where y'all can look for me at. My name is Meek, like the Meek Shall Inherit the Earth, Jaffe, J A S S E. Think about coming to America. She's a queen. Hey, Jaffe. That's exactly where I got it from. Queen Jaffe Jaffe. All right. Um, so this one is called Panic. I'm putting out a, a new project. This is going to be the first joint to my new project. It's called Perspectives of a Poet. I put out an audio book last July called Pieces of July. Um, this is going to be my final project. I got four mixtapes out. I can find them on Bandcamp. 
trying to find my music on iTunes. If y'all take a deep job for y'all find sections of my workplaces. But I'm a real artist. I really just work from my heart. So if I'm feeling it, I'm gonna write it. But I do a lot of artist development and I don't wanna do whole projects anymore. I'm gonna focus on single projects and things like that. So this is gonna be my last complete project. So hopefully y'all grab it before I die, because it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm pushing work in. Alright, now, um, <laughs> this is called Panic, alright? And I need y'all to really listen to me on this. Walk with me, and picture if you will, a world that's so demented, where everything we buy is really rented, and a sentence is a mandatory lesson if you are an adolescent. But who am I to school you? I'm only asking questions like, why do we ignore that humans and dinosaurs coexisted here before? Because that very thought will probably open up another door to a world we never saw or a world that we are in and we will probably hung up on. I figure, if eight niggas enter the ark, no swimmers, but two of every kind that have a year supply of dinner, two of every kind came out the ark of winter, what was no one eating if it wasn't chicken fingers? These are questions that I ponder when I'm rolling up the switch. If we want to reach the heavens, it's going to be a fisher. If we want to reach the heavens, let me know it's all the picture. God had to make the water rise because creatures ain't more bigger. Mm. My nigga, they say those who read will understand the scripture. If you don't understand, you can search the definition. Now, everybody want to be offended by opinion, but just listen, learn the reason. Give the fuck about your feelings. They say, Jonah survived inside the belly of a whale. Now, most people couldn't survive the belly of a jail. I wonder what kind of courage is that to never yell nowadays. All you gotta say, hey, niggas tell now. No one in on Mount Arafat. Now, where is that? Right now, you can find that in Mecca. Now, how clear is that? Now, these are things that's never discussed. Now, how weird is that? It's something they don't want us to know. Now, you hear that. But knowledge brings sorrow, so I take it slow. Talk some shit on radios, and maybe they will play me more. If I was talking about all of my hating bros, switch it to a lazy flow, talk to different voices like the crazy or the crazy parts of India. Because the truth is so addictive. Now, David B. Goliath, he was from another district called the Philistines. Now, we know they were giants who was listed, but that triumph was a major one because giants who were shifted. I mean, giants who were gifted, offspring of fallen angels. Many don't believe the spiritual and physical entangles. That's so dangerous because the enemy resides inside of strangers and morph into another form if you don't know his angles. And you can't fight him alone, so hang it up and just pray. He woke up out this earth and rolled a lion looking to slay. But there's these angels called watchers guarding us every day. God will just make an escape. There's so much more I can say. And I will. Samuel was a judge of tribes and nations. Folks say no judge if you disagree with their situation. Solomon had all these women in rotation. But he died the poorest king because all the pussy he was chasing. Did you see the replication? Repetition, minds blinded by the system, men blinded by these women, women blinded by the image, so the cornea is damaged and the iris kind of slanted and the money is mismanaged, but our justice fits remanded. How much more could we all stand while we planted on this planet? We say, God damn so long that God is literally damned. We should pay me. Peace, Woo! Whoa! I got a radio show every Sunday from 5 to 7 called Swag and the City. Like sex in the city, and I'll be broadcasting. Y'all can find me like through Instagram, Facebook. I do what works, so it's not like everybody's on Instagram, everybody's on Facebook. That's where I go. All right, so I'll be streaming every every Sunday from five to seven. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah. Wow. Let me get a round of applause for Mr. Jive, Mr. Jockey. Jockey, I'm going to say the record. I'm going to call her that for nine years. Yo, one of the biggest pokers I've ever seen in my life. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. And she was a forerunner of many of the things that I'm doing now. Make sure you check out Swag in the City. I'm going to make sure that we post when I find out all the, um, like, whatever fly it is, you will see it on SG Media page. I will advertise so we can all get in tune with what she's doing. This is my last poem before my before the last poem comes up. I just want to say this, man. I appreciate everyone who came out for our first poetry and print. Let me get a round of applause for our first poetry and print. Let me ask you all a question. Should we keep doing this? Y'all feeling it? We should make this bigger? You want to take over the with this one? 
Yeah, we're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. Part two, November 9th, of December 19th, here at the Five Spot. It's called Poetry and Picks 2, Slow Tree. Make sure you come to our 420 event on November 23rd. If you need the information for our events, it's, uh, if you pack over 100 people, 150 people there, it's the five year anniversary of Dan Wilder. We got performances from Thuddy Brown, Stub B, Seymour Bucks, um, and others. I smoke, so I don't remember. So we got eight performers. Um, performers. So I appreciate y'all. Make sure you go to www.streetmedia.info. I'm going to say that again www.streetmedia.info. Also, another shameless plug. My kids will, my kid will not be able to eat if you don't go to Spotify <laughs> and listen to the podcast. We will not be able to live no more. We need you to go to um, Spotify. There's a donation thing in our spot. <laughs> I'm dead ass. I'm joking. This. There's a donation. You're looking 99 cent, 499 or more. Please go for more. But I would take the 99 cent also. We don't give a fuck. We are from the streets. We are hood. And we don't give a fuck again. So let me my last poem, man. It's the thing I want on Spotify. Oh, www. S Street Media. Skull, you know, you from Skull Street. Skull Street Media. Skull S Street Media. This is my last poem, man. And I think, let me say this. All this poetry is from like the ages of 21 to 20, 20, like 21 to 30. I haven't wrote poetry in many of years. I haven't studied. I haven't practiced. So my delivery is all. I used to win awards like my shit. Now my shit sound regular. But I love that y'all came through and made this shit sound official. Aye, 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 aye. So this is my last poem. I wrote this when I was 21 years old, man. And it's about my baby mom. She's a Russian, Dominican girl who is family now. We are past these poems. Um, she hates me, I hate her, but we love our family. She is family, you know what I mean? Dead ass, there's no, there's no negative things but us. She is part of family. She has more children outside of mine. We take care of the other children when my son comes. That's how we move. That's what, that's, I'm from a, a, a tribe. You know what I mean? My tribe is small, so we got to take care of all the tribe at all times. We die for the tribe. Even if the tribe is not blood, but he is part of the tribe. You dig? You got to look bigger. People be like, that's how my kid is. But how many of us don't have fathers? How many of us don't have a father there or figure there? Even if it's not your kid, man. Our children is the future. They are the seeds. They are the understanding. They are the best part. So I'm going to end this with this. It's called Our Circumstances. When she steps away from me, she seems so close to me. Her perfume still lingers in the air, a set of desire. But in actuality, it is a stench of unfaithfulness that's overwhelming and pugnant. Her deceit becomes a pain in the forefront, blatant. She loathes me. She loves me. She loathes me. She loves me. But with a set of conditions and afflictions, she calls unconditional. She believes this lie, but I can't lie with it, nor her, because we are tainted and have passed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I don't do the wrong shit. I should stay. Quick though, you don't get it. Okay, well, yeah, I don't get it half the time too. Yo, our last performance to close tonight. I'm glad, I'm sorry that I forgot her on our list. I apologize. Um, but it's powerful energy in here. I feel great about what's going on tonight. Um, I wasn't looking for a big crowd. I was looking for a crowd that was true. You know what I mean? A crowd that we could build with and keep doing this and bring it to another level. 
you know, hopefully we'll be able to maybe, maybe put together an anthology, maybe we could put together a, a Def Jam poetry and take it on the road and perform in different places between me and you. You know, I'm into business. So it's about putting a business behind what we're doing. You know what I mean? We could write plays. I don't know if you're, um, what's the play um, um, with the Spanish dude wrote? Um, that's real famous right now. Hamilton. Hamilton. That's a rap. That's a rap. I heard about the Tupac play, but he did the same thing before he did it. Yeah, yeah he wasn't the first one to get all know that. You know what I mean? Also, Def Jam Comedy had a play. Levin Anderson, who is from Waynesburg. <laughs> He's from Waynesburg, baby. You know what I mean? It was part of that. So, let's keep in touch. Let's keep this community growing. Let's plant the seeds. Let's water those seeds. And let's keep it going. My last performer, oops, is um, sitting in the front. And she had a friend, and me and her friend was fashion today. But sometimes great minds bounce over each other. That's what we do. We're going to bounce ideas, we're going to bounce thoughts. Nobody is a yes man in here or yes woman. We are people with strong minds and opinions. That's what life is about. And if you can't understand another person's opinion, even when it comes out strong, and you in the wrong world. You know what I mean? My mother told me, never pussy foot over nothing. Right. She said, she screamed at me, I started crying. She said, what are you crying for? I'm like, you talking too loud. She's like, that's the fuck I talk. I learned to do the same thing. And I don't be mad half the time. I just got this raspy, fucked up voice. So let me introduce you all. The last poet of tonight. The truth. Let's welcome the truth. God, did you say that to me right there when we saw that God? God, I just asked you, God. Can you just talk? How many people I said? I'm not saying that. Why this? So do you need to repeat the same thing? Do you need to make a connection? Make a connection. Man, but I began to allow him or any other man to raise a hand and land upon my face again. 
To love and challenge is a part of the agreement. Physical, physical abuse and disrespect is never part of my plan. Because this woman didn't stay in her place, was it the space that I provided for you for free? That gave you the right to humiliate, torture, and continuously beat me? I paid no bills. You paid no bills, no rent, no food. Hell, you barely satisfied me sexually. But I'm just an angry black bitch. Right? Wasn't it me who sat up all night? No, wasn't it me who sat in that courthouse praying that you didn't go to jail, scraping up money just in case you needed bail? Gave you heaven on earth by those other women you cheated with. Made my life a living hell. You remind me over and over that without you I would never excel. So my mental state was never to achieve because you programmed me to fail. Mm. I'm the man, is the mantra you occasionally yell. Nothing about you screams king. It's your penis that makes you a man. Mm. But I'm just an angry black bitch, right? When you were sick, who sat up all night? Although I was hungry, made sure you had the last bite. Although you were dead wrong, I always agreed you were right. Mm. You came submissive to, to your demand because I no longer wanted to fight. But I'm just an angry black bitch, right? Wrong. I'm a black queen that's strong that's been carrying your sorry ass for way too long. Pray for change. That's why I held on. Now we're playing chess, nigga. I'm, no, I'm the queen no longer your pawn. Sweetie, it's a new day, it's a dawn. I'll beat that bitch, but I was never angry. Maybe it just would have withdrawn. But as you watch my back leave, I realize it wasn't you, but me. That was all I need. Maybe this is the last time you call me a bitch. Now address me as your queen, who's happy on her own. You may have shifted my crown. But my spirit still sits higher in that room. You, had, you may have won the battle, but I'll continue to fight because I was never an angry black bitch. It's a beautiful black woman who's going to be all right. <laughs>
creations and that the, 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 the what is it called? The Xerox copy things. I know. The Mickey Mouse cards is the best of my day. So I know about that. Those free clicks, I got those clicks every day. I got all that. So I was a prison baby, so I know about that. And I'm from Brownsville, and I wear it well. Um, I have a statement that I have a mantra. I'm not a product of my environment. I'm productive in my environment. Peace out. Um, I'm trying to have an event. December 19th, you better put me on that book. One kid, you know, and I'm coming in. Okay? You? You? I'm going home, birds and sage now. All of my kids and everybody, land on everybody to say Everybody needs to say and everything. Right. Shout out to everybody. Mommy, I didn't make you cry. But I know my poems resonate with somebody and not one poem that I ever did, whether it's erotic or whatever, hasn't been about my life or what I'm going through now. You understand? And I love you. I love you. And it's going to be okay. Okay? All right. Peace out, y'all. Thank you. Let me get a round of applause for the truth.